Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Billy C. And in this quick short video, I'm just going to go over how I like to look for prize picks uh, and the tools I like to use on Odds Jam to find some prize pick plays. I know for the East Coast people out there, it's like midnight. So, you know, you're not obviously going to be out there at this time of night finding it. But here we are with prize picks. And I'm just going to show you a couple tools that I like to use. All right. So the first one is the positive expected value tool. And right off the hop, you can see we already have a play here. Siakam over four and a half assists for tomorrow's games. All right, lines are opening up for Tuesday's games. So we're already just like kind of taking a peek, seeing what's going on out there, right? So you can already see with Siakam right here off the bat, getting minus 119 odds compared to some other books. Pinnacle has this in minus 173. You know, you see Golden Nugget, Hard Rock, minus 135, minus 140. Now the difference in this 137, minus 137 to minus 119, a two-pick play on prize picks, is minus 137 odds, where a five or a six pick play is minus 119 odds, okay? So you're always going to want to be going with the five and six pick plays because you get the most optimal odds, the best price possible. You know, prize pick is unique in this example because they don't care. They're going to give you the same payout, right? The odds don't change if you take more or less on Al Horford, right? Other sports books are going to have those odds different for maybe Horford's over under on his points, but on prize picks, they don't care. They're going to pay out the same, right? So please remember this, never do a two or three or four pick power play. Don't ever do them. Five and six picks, most optimal. You get the highest return on your investment. You get the best, you get the best bang for your buck and you get the best odds possible. Okay. So we go to the positive EV tool. We see Siakam over four and a half assists. Real simple here. And we're just going to plug them in. Four and a half. And that's our first play, right? We'll hit the refresh button here to see if there's anything else. Obviously, you know, late Monday night, there might not be much. Okay. Not at least for the positive EV tool. The next tool that I like to use is the low holds tool. Great tool here to be able to kind of find out. Uh, this is a tool where, you know, if you get some, if you need to make, if you deposit $250, and they get they give you whether it's DraftKings or FanDuel, you get a you get a credit back. You can then bet both sides of a match without losing any money. As you can see, like right here, the soccer match here between DraftKings and BetMGM. So if you bet if you bet two hundred bucks here, you can bet hundred on DraftKings. You get back three hundred dollars. You're winning and losing both sides, but the books can see it that way. So when you get kind of like a bet credit, this is a great way to use this. If you need to kind of have like a rollover requirement for any offshore sport, sports books, great tool here, low holds. So we're just going to plug in prize picks. We're going to click the five or six pick flex. Okay. And we see two plays here right off the hop, right? More of this Raptors heat game, right? So Scotty Barnes under six and a half rebounds. Okay. See Pinnacle has this at minus 157. All the other books minus 129, minus 125. But with the five and six pick plays, we can get this at minus 119, right? So Scotty Barnes under on rebounds. So we'll plug him in here under five and a half rebounds. Sorry, six and a half, double check. Yeah, six and a half. Under six and a half. Okay, and one thing I like to point out here, okay, I'm not going to be the guy that's going to tell you, well, Scotty Barnes against the Heat in seven of his last eight games, you know, he's gotten less than six rebounds, six and a half rebounds. Or, you know, the Heat, they're giving it up. They, you know, they, they don't give up too many rebounds to the opponents. They're, you don't have to worry about trends. You don't have to worry about if this guy's on a hot streak or a cold streak. Why? Because it's already priced into the odds. These sports books have analytics teams. They look at the trends. They look at the players, the matchups. They have their own analytics teams, people. You don't have to go and do your own research. I know nothing about the Raptors. I don't, I haven't watched, I've watched less than five minutes of Raptors basketball this year, but the odds are telling me, Hey, Scotty Barnes under six and a half. This is a good value. Okay. There's people out there. That's awesome. They're going to give you trends. They're going to give you some facts to make you feel better about your bet. And that's awesome. Good for them. You don't have to worry about it. I'm here to tell you, you don't need to worry about this. Lock this in and let's keep it moving. Fred Van Vliet under 32 and a half prop getting the best odds right now. By a slim margin, right? DraftKings has this at minus 120. I don't care. We're getting the best, we're getting the best price for Fred Van Vliet. Under 32 and a half pra points, rebounds, and assists for people that don't know. All right. So these are the those are the first tool two, two tools I'll use. The other one is the Odds Jam screen. 
Okay. So lines are already getting opened up here. As you can see, you got Jalen Brown, we got Jason Tatum, we got some other players here. And all that I'm simply doing is I like to look at this category here, the minus 119, because I know on prize picks for five and six pick plays, minus 119 is the best odds possible, right? So here's an example here with Tatum. You can get this at Caesars for minus 119, but this is one that we might consider adding because we know we can get minus 119 on prize picks. So we'll, we'll look at that. The odds jam screen simply is just giving you real-time data right now, going through all of these plays. So only some games are going to be up and running, right? So if we look at this Hawks game, here's a great example. Clint Capella on his points, rebounds, and assists. And we'll have to wait till it refreshes. Capella on points, rebounds, and assists. Minus 125 is the best odds you can get this on Odds Jam. Oh, I'm sorry, on DraftKings. Odds Jam has this at minus 129. We know we can get minus 119 on prize picks. I'm locking this in. All day long, all day long. That's all we're doing. That's all you need to do. 23 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. I go back to just make sure it's correct. Boom. We're taking less on Van Vliet. We're taking more on Capella. We need one more. That's it. All we need is one more play. So we'll look a little bit further. That's a great example, right? DeAndre Hunter might be another one here, okay? There's only a few games opened up for prize picks. Right now, we don't have to just go to points, rebounds, and assists. This is the best thing about the screen. You can go to any market that you want to go to, right? So, if we just want to simply go to player points in the NBA, you want to go to main markets. This is what the screen does for you it gives you real time data. I find the most value using the screen when it comes to prize picks and an underdog. Okay. But this is just an example of it. So, let's take a look and see what else maybe we can, we can carve up here. And right here, you can see Darius Garland. Under 21 and a half points, you can get this at minus 120 on DraftKings. We know we can get this at minus 119. Actually, I'm going to be more in love with DeJounte Murray. Under 18 and a half points, we're getting great value here. I like this play. We're going to go with Murray under 18 and a half points. Okay? And you could say, well, yeah, but you're kind of betting like the same guys on the same teams. And it, to me, the, the correlation, there isn't much here to me. Okay? There really isn't. So I'm going to lock this in for $30 for a chance to win $300. And that's going to be our prize picks play. And that's just really the video real quick, guys. Positive EV tool, low holds tool, and then the OGM screen is how I go and find out my prize picks plays. So as always, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you have any questions, you're not really sure, hit me up on Twitter. Uh, but until next time, guys, take it easy.